Lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender issues were the focus of a dinner this evening at the Appalachian Artisan Center in Hindman. Organizers of A Seat at the Table say the event was for people of all walks of life to learn and to celebrate diversity here in the mountains. WYMT's Matthew Rand was there. Organizers say the goal of Wednesday's dinner was to get people talking about gay and lesbian life in eastern Kentucky. Over a fresh take on a traditional Appalachian soup bean dinner, folks learn more about the region's past and look toward the future. When we're all together at the table sharing food, our differences don't really seem so important. Um, and it seems a lot easier to come to a consensus about what we want to do to move, um, to move this region forward. University of Louisville professor Kate Fossil conducted interviews for the Kentucky LGBT Heritage Initiative, learning more about people like Lige Clark, a Hydeman native who Fossil explains was an early gay rights pioneer in the 1960s. It was really the idea that gay is good, that gay is not an illness, that you know you can be just like anyone else, but you love people of the same gender. From fairness campaigns in several Kentucky cities to last year's Supreme Court decision legalizing same-sex marriage, organizers say the times are changing in Kentucky. I think some people get uncomfortable with the LGBTQ label. What does it even mean? There are so many letters in it. It can be intimidating. They say their message, however, is one of openness and inclusiveness and hope this night of conversations will lead to many more throughout the region. In Knott County, Matthew Rand, WYMT Mountain News. Dr. Fossil says she hopes to collect more stories about pre-1980s life in eastern Kentucky for the LGBT Heritage Initiative. Information on how to get in touch with her can be found on our website.